Good evening guys. Welcome back to RK's Home Cooking. This evening I am going to make one of the traditional Filipino cuisine. Its name called beef caldereta. Traditionally caldereta cooked in a goat meat or lamb. The word of caldereta which means caldron. In English casserole. Spanish caldron means a pot. So it's a type of Filipino stew. Cooked in a Spanish and Filipino way. Let's introduce what the ingredients are: 750 gram beef chunk, one carrot, few garlics, two potatoes, red chili, two bay leaf, one onion, one bell pepper, soya sauce, vinegar, cooking oil, tomato puree, liver spread, brown sugar, balancing the sour taste, salt pepper and 100 ml water. Let's start to make Filipino traditional caldereta. The caldereta making a kapampanka style. In Pampanka, they mix all together in one pot. In local language, in kapampanka, they call sangutsa. First the beef go into the pot all together. I don't need all onion keeping very little bit for frying garlic I'm not using all garlic it's a crushed prepared quarter cup of vinegar this is a cane vinegar Philippine normally using cane vinegar for this cooking couple of bay leaf you don't need a quarter cup that much soya if you put too much soya it's coming very dark color and it's better to use a light soya sauce rather than using a dark soya sauce black pepper mix together nicely to get the flavor and the vinegar and soya into the beef hundred ml water straight away going now the beef soya vinegar onion bay leaf pepper all mixed together in one pot straight to bring into the hob fire lid on the top take about 45 to 50 minutes for that time we have the next step hot wok oil diced potato go in there the main reason of frying this potato because sealing giving a golden color inside is soft if you put potato straight away to the beef it's becoming completely mushy potato is crunchy out inside is nice and soft it's not fully cooked it's going to cook again draining out the potato carrot the way I did the potato Better to be fried separately rather together because they are two different cooking ratios. The same way I seal the potato, I done the carrot as well. So I'm taking out the carrot. Leftover onion. The shape. The garlic. Very small amount left over. About two tablespoons of tomato puree. Straight in. Tomato puree have to cook first. Get rid of the strong acidity. Tomato paste is uh, getting ready. Some people use tin tomatoes or tomato juice but I personally like tomato puree the concentrated tomato puree the juice from the beef so I'm using small spider to take it out all the beautiful flavor juice to be here and bring it to boil again see the color It's actually a type of stew.
liver spread. I'm now using all tin. Just that's it. Liver spread giving an irony taste and getting the sauce more thicker. It's a chicken liver spread, pork liver spread, it doesn't matter. You see the older saucy texture already changed. Bring it to boil. The two red chilies, a fresh chili, trimmed very small with the seed. Go in. Cook the beef into the sauce. And it's um, very low fat. It's healthy. Wow. Just been bring it to boil. It's take about two minutes or three minutes to boil. Time to go to the potato. Carrot. I'm adding a little bit of brown sugar now. Soya sauce is really salty. That's the reason I don't add much salt. I will taste and if I need salt, I will add it again. Wow, that's beautiful. This is very similar to adobo. It's a traditional and national dish of Philippines. And if you look my chicken adobo, you can see how to cook adobo. Potato and carrot nearly cook about three minutes. Just to want to taste it, how the, I need any seasoning again. Maybe a touch of salt, just a pinch. No more than that. To gently, without breaking the potato, stir it gently. Bell peppers. The reason I don't add the bell pepper earlier, because I like crunchy pepper. Not overcooked. Just burying the pepper the bottom of the caldereta. Little bit more black pepper to give it the right flavor. Beef and pepper. It's a fantastic combination. It's taken three minutes, then it's ready to plate up caldereta. The time to plate up my caldereta, the pepper is um, crunchy and not too soft. Beautifully cooked. You can see on the walk. Let's turn off the fire. It's beautiful. Beef caldereta on the plate and it's a beautifully cooked my own version. I learned this cooking from Pampanka and it's amazing food. Go with a bowl of rice. Traditionally in Philippines they eat with the rice. Rice is the best combination to eat this particular beef stew. Thank you for watching RK's Home Cooking. More videos to come. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. I see you next time with different videos. Bye-bye and take care.